welcome back to Christmas in the South. And we're still wearing our festive hats. <laughs> this week, we're sharing both above and below ground celebrations in Louisville, Kentucky. Merry Christmas! We're Howard and Caitlin New State. Dog people, food people, adventure people, Christmas people. We've been living on the road for the past three years, traveling through North America and beyond. Each week, we bring you along with us to show you how to live like a local in every new state we visit. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky, well known for bourbon, horse racing, fried chicken, and great Southern hospitality. But what we didn't expect were so many unique Christmas activities, including the only underground drive through light show we've ever heard of. Before we jumped into all the fun, we made a quick stop at the Visitor Center. This sign is extremely helpful for people like me. If you struggle with the pronunciation of Louisville, Louisville, just look at all of these helpful pronunciations here. I love it. There's a shirt, it's on the side of the building, and they have this neon sign. So all your pronunciation troubles are solved. It's a great way to learn about the area, pronunciation, and any events they have coming up. We even picked up some of the most delicious sweet potato pie we have ever had from Georgia's Sweet Potato Pie Company. Kentucky Bourbon Sweet Potato Pie. They had a pop-up shop inside the visitor center, but they have a nearby store that we would highly recommend visiting. Our first stop of the trip was the famous Churchill Downs, home of the Kentucky Derby, which was hosting their annual holiday open house at the Kentucky Derby Museum. With an incredible collection of artifacts and memorabilia from over 146 years of racing history, it's a fascinating and well-preserved glimpse into the longest-running sporting event in the U.S. A Can't Miss is the greatest race film. Housed in a purpose-built theater, it's a stunning 360-degree experience that takes you behind the scenes and onto the track of the Kentucky Derby. You can even try your hand at being a jockey during the race, minus the real horse, skill, or dirt that's required. And don't miss out on taking a tour of Churchill Downs, which was entertaining and full of fun facts. No filming is allowed, but you can snap all the pictures you want. They offer several different options for touring the grounds, and if you ask us, both a tour and the museum should be a must-visit on your Louisville list. This has got to be one of the most intricate Christmas displays I think I've ever seen. We've done a bunch of these like driving displays, There's nothing like this. With 120 eight foot tall stained glass windows, over 500 live Christmas trees, and thousands of shimmering lanterns, Winterwood Spectacular certainly lives up to its name. It was so different from any other drive through light tour that we've done. The level of detail, but also the little scenes. Everything else that we've seen, they're typically like a series of lights that form shapes. These are actual structures. These are stained glass windows, just beautiful. Castles, gingerbread houses, and it's so cool because you can find some of your favorite characters, like we saw Anna and Elsa from Frozen, the cast of Stranger Things. I mean, Stranger Things, come on. <laughs> big fans here, big fans. Well, what, what says Christmas more than Stranger Things, you know? <laughs> this is absolutely a must do when you're here in the area. Located in Iroquois Park, this is the third year for Winterwood Spectacular, and one of the best parts is that ticket sales from the event benefit the Public Parks Alliance of Louisville and their 120 public parks. Every year, they've added a new feature to the event, and this year's edition blew us away. That light tunnel was absolutely amazing. This is kind of the the biggest and baddest of all of them. It definitely <laughs> is. By far, the biggest and baddest light tunnel I have ever seen. <laughs> I think, she's, I think she said it right. The 170 foot light tunnel is incredible to see in person and you still have time. Winterwood Spectacular runs through December 26th. There are some beautiful houses here. Yes, we are in the historic district and you can tell by how magnificent these homes are. I think once a year, they open eight of the houses to the public and they're all decked out for the holiday home tour. I'm so excited to see these. The first house we popped into is the Conrad Codwell House, a stunning example of Victorian architecture. It was built in the late 1800s and was even more picturesque dressed in its holiday best. Each house had a volunteer to greet you and give you fun facts or information about the historic mansion. And one house is called the Pink Palace. Caitlin, can you figure out which one is the Pink Palace? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I think I see it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, that one was beautiful. I love, they had this like mermaid lamp and then a dolphin lamp and a gorgeous pink tree. <gasps> I'm gonna admit right now, I didn't realize that people live in some of these. That's somebody's house. Yeah. 
the kitchen was gorgeous. Did you see the like bourbon wall? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I know they had photo frames of like family members and stuff, <laughs> like very modern age photos. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't complain though. I mean, can you imagine living in a house like that? Every house we come out of, I'm like, oh, I have a new favorite. That one was so cool. It's the youngest house of the group. Yeah, but it's from like 1906. <laughs> I know, it's all relative, right? Because they're all historic. And we actually got to talk to the homeowner of that one. And she has done such an incredible job picking all of these vibrant paint colors and then theming each room. The peacock room was hands down my favorite. I like the pink palace room just because I thought that it was <laughs> kind of funny to have a themed room of another house right in down your the house. Street. Yeah, yeah, that was really cute. But the peacock room, she, the homeowner, made that dress Christmas tree on her own. Isn't that incredible? I know. That was amazing. The, the level of detail is just magnificent. After swooning over all the beautiful historic homes, we headed to Flea Off Market, a pop-up holiday bazaar that runs every weekend in December at Logan Street Market. It's an awesome mix of eclectic artists, crafts, and handmade gifts combined with coffee shops, bars, and restaurants. It honestly reminded us of some of the super cool markets we've been to in Europe. It's a great place to spend an afternoon shopping or grabbing a bite to eat with friends. And speaking of pop-up Christmas events, this is so fun. If you're looking for some festive fun in the form of adult beverages, downtown Louisville has not one, but two Christmas-themed bars. And of course, we had to grab a drink at both. First, we went to Limbo Tiki Bar for their Christmas vacation theme setup. The drinks were delicious and the vibe was super laid back and fun. Then it was off to Miracle on Market. They had a couple themed rooms you could choose from and the drinks were cleverly named and delicious. I had a Christmas Politan and Howard's drink was not appropriately named for YouTube, so we'll just call it the Yippie Kaye. Both were delicious and the decor definitely got us in the Christmas spirit. If you're looking for a bright and cheery breakfast spot, you have to check out the Christmas Morning Cafe. Open year round and with clever dishes like I'll be home for omelets and deck the halls with two burritos, this family run themed brunch spot will certainly fuel your holiday fun. Plus they had an eggnog latte that was my favorite. We're getting ready to do something pretty interesting. It's the middle of the day, but we're going to a drive through Christmas light show. How's that possible? Well, Caitlin, I don't know. Could it be <laughs> that it's underground? Oh. No, really, like this is like amazing. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's called <laughs> Lights Under Louisville. It's in their cavern. From what I understand, it's the only one of its type in the entire world. Every year, Louisville Mega Cavern is transformed into a magical holiday light show where you can drive through part of their 17 miles of tunnels. It's a pretty genius way to provide a Christmas display all day long. They have over 900 characters and 4 million points of light. Okay, that was super cool. That was amazing. I had no idea what to expect. I have to admit, this is my first underground, heck, it's probably anybody's first underground light show they've ever seen. Really well done. They had really nice and intricate displays as well. There was projection mapping on some of the uh, cave sides. They even had like lasers and- Yeah, um, I think that was probably one of our favorite parts, the laser tunnel section. It was so cool. And they have these like dancing Santas and lasers. It was really fun. I'm definitely impressed. This is certainly something you should definitely check out. And I will certainly say it will probably be the first and last uh, underground light show we'll probably ever show you. Hey, Kaylin. Yeah. What do you think you're going to find at Paris Town? <laughs> That's a trick question. <laughs> I don't think there's an Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh, there's definitely not an Eiffel Tower. But from what I understand, there's all kinds of Christmas goodies. Santa? Maybe he's a Paris Town? Is Santa French? Santa is... Is, he's a worldwide, worldwide celebrity. Yeah, he's an international celebrity. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide, the original Mr. Worldwide, Santa Claus. All joking aside, Paris Town's Fête de Noël is a one-stop shop for all your Christmas fun. We headed inside first to get a quick behind-the-scenes tour of Louisville Stoneware, which is now located in Paris Town. Oh, wow. Like Play-Doh? Founded in 1815, it's one of the oldest stoneware companies in the United States. A supplier to the Union Army and producer of plates in everyday use by the Eisenhower family in the White House, no fewer than 20 people touch each stoneware creation as it transforms from clay into functional art. That's a julep cup. 
Many pieces are highly prized by collectors, while others serve as a favorite morning mug or a treat for a special dinner. Louisville Stoneware is famed for their collaborations ranging from the Kentucky Derby to Kentucky Fried Chicken, and of course their Christmas collection. After watching the artists at work, we got to try our hand at creating a masterpiece ourselves. We got a snowman or a gingerbread man. Let's do a snowman. Okay, we get to get a little artsy and we are going to paint a Christmas ornament and a mug. And you can come here and do the same thing. Look, I'm gonna kind of cheat a little and maybe copy what this person did because it's so cute. <laughs> Wait, so am I doing the mug? <laughs> I don't know. Am I doing the mug or the ornament? You, you can pick. I will be doing none of that. I'm instead going to be transforming a snowman into a snowman. <laughs> You're gonna do great. So it's, it's, it's gonna start off looking like that. And then eventually it's going to be great. And here we go. I've never done this before. Caitlin, have you ever done this before? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've never done this before. Caitlin being the expert, we will use only the footage of her <laughs> doing this. Look at you. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Your snowman is a minimalist. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a simple, he's a simple snowman. So I decided I'm gonna go with a um, beachy theme here. I'm gonna do a little flamingo. Thank you. That's it, that's all I get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm focused. Caitlin, I'm focused, okay? I'm really, I'm trying my best here. My flamingo is I'm giving it my absolute best. Okay. 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 I'm really, I'm really trying. Look at my flamingo. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, now I'm gonna make the wing a different shade. Yeah, and you can just uh, compare the quality, honestly. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, freehand. Like, I was a child artist, okay? <laughs> had, had a little bit of an advantage. I was doing watercolor paintings at eight years old. That are, they were quite good, okay? I think it looks great for your first time. Look at that. Now, I've been told that these will not actually be the colors. <laughs> So what like, so I've got like a dark blue mittens, red hat, um, a candy striped uh, tie, and then everything that looks gray is black. And then what looks yellow is gonna be orange because that's gonna be a carrot, obviously, for his nose. Very good job. Thank you. All right, Caitlin. Okay. That's I'm, a big reveal. I went with my flamingo, and I did some sponge work here in coral and mango to give it a little bit of like a beachy feel. I also did some sponge work. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see there or not. So everywhere where it is white, that's gonna be actually white, uh, and then the glazing or whatever will kind of make it like a like a beige. So I'm hoping that that's gonna like make it look kind of th more three dimensional. How do you gotta sign it? All what? Artists, all artists sign their work. I have to sign it? Yeah, just put your like initials. Oh. After our arts and crafts, we headed back outside because we were tasked with a very important mission. The ghost of Jacob Marley is still in there. <laughs> this is a bad time to say I've never done an escape room. <laughs> yes, it's, I'm going to give you a lantern. That's important. And you will need yeah. these. Okay. Because it's dark in there and you're going to find the clues. Okay. <gasps> Power source and the clues. That's your main thing. All right. Ready to, to help? Maybe we can. Maybe he's a friendly ghost right now. It's Christmas time. I don't know. I don't know, man. Listen. It doesn't sound too good. <laughs> He's usually in a pretty foul mood. Okay, so This could turn into a paranormal okay. channel. You ready? <laughs> uh, as soon as uh, you guys are both in, I'm going to shut the door, and then okay. you're on your own. Okay, okay. okay. seven minutes. All right. All right, good let's luck. do it. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, well, there's a clock. Okay. How are you doing, Howard? Well, we're not doing well, Caitlin. <laughs> I found a clock. I opened up the clock. There's nothing in there. So, I don't know. With only seven minutes, you have to be quick and solve the mystery to save Christmas. And if you're hoping for some clues on how to escape for yourselves, this is probably not the video for you. I feel like we're so close. Ah. He sounds angry, Robert. With time expired, Rod came to our rescue. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's awesome. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I totally overthought that. Uh, My clue to you is don't overthink it. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. <laughs> I have not skated in a long time. Caitlin, how long has it been? Years. Yeah, I want to say it's been... Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy. I want to say it's been five or six years, maybe, since I last skated, so... What? Easy. Oh. Yeah, see? Easy. 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 What could possibly go wrong, Caitlin? I feel like I should not have the phones in my pocket. <laughs> Break them. Here, hold on. So Keep your knees bent. Knees bent, lean forward a little bit. There you go. Yep, you're good. I need that. Go ahead. It's easy. All you gotta do is just... What are you... Oh, here. Since you're the expert. Grandma's coming. Here, let me take this from you. <laughs> I feel like we're like learning on the fly how to do this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! When I go to do this, it feels like going down. Right. Oh. Yeah. It's all about just kind of the side to side, you know, just pushing, getting yourself a little deep every time. Okay. Yeah. That, that's how you just, yeah, there you go. Oh. The more you pick up the seat, the more the control you have. You know? <laughs> I'm a pro now. Wow. Look at that. Caitlin's a pro. <laughs> no, the advice that he gave me really helped, though. I was scared to pick my feet up. Yeah? Yeah. And then he said, if you're not falling, you're not learning. Yeah. I'm just really trying not to fall because I'm the one holding the camera. <laughs> but I would say this is a success. Yeah, I'm gonna do another lap. Yeah. Yeah, those guys are awesome. Okay, Caitlin, you ready? Yeah. Let's see the most dangerous part is getting off the ice. Yeah. It really is. Whew. All right. I think we earned some hot chocolate. What do you think? Well, Caitlin, it's not just any hot chocolate though. It's it's spiked. I'm glad we did this first. Let <laughs> me just say that. Good plan. <laughs> On our way to the Abominable Bar, we stopped at a few of the cute shops and even got the pups a few treats for their Christmas stockings. I got the eggnog. Caitlin, what'd you get? I got Kentucky Hot Chocolate. So, Caitlin, what's Kentucky Hot Chocolate? It is made in Kentucky, though. It has Woodford <laughs> Reserve in it. Yeah. So, these are both Woodford Reserve cocktails. <laughs> One eggnog. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers, baby. Okay, this is divine. It's like super creamy, and then you've got the little bit of like heat from the bourbon. It might be one of the best hot chocolates I've ever had. And I've had a lot of hot chocolate. I'm gonna peek at it. She asked a very important question, which was, do we want whipped cream? And you bet we do. Oh. I know, right? That'll warm you up. Santa, <laughs> yeah, my favorite ahead. time. Yeah. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caitlin, have you been good this year? I think so. Think we we actually we already found out that she's on the um, the, the nice list. list. Yeah. Let's just put it this way: you have a few more weeks to to get on the okay. other. <laughs> to be like a hundred percent sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm like ninety nine point nine percent sure. Howard, though, I don't know about yeah. that. Well, it's always I, a I, I'm feeling a vibe. I'm feeling a vibe. <laughs> naughty. Fair it's enough. on the naughty list. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! And then Santa took us to his favorite restaurant, the Cafe at Paris Town, serving delicious southern cuisine since 1996. All right, when you come to the cafe, you have to get the cake. This is neat. Not an exaggeration, folks. I know. This cake. Look at that. Put your hand next to it. I put my head next to it. <laughs> this is the Italian cream cake. So it's buttercream frosting and it's almonds and coconut. It's gonna be so good. 
Within days of filming these episodes in the state, Kentucky was hit by devastating tornadoes, resulting in significant loss of life and damage to property. Our goal is to always support the communities that we explore, and that's why with the help of our Patreon community, the New State Navigators, we're making our quarterly donation to the American Red Cross, specifically the Kentucky chapter, to assist with disaster relief. And if you'd like to help make a difference right now, you can click the donate button below this video on YouTube. 100% of the proceeds will be going to the American Red Cross, and YouTube will cover any transaction costs. And additionally, we will be donating all advertising revenue from both the Lexington and the Louisville episodes throughout the months of December and January. And while we won't be having a special Christmas episode, we will be having a live episode uh, next Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So we hope you can join us for that. And again, our hearts and thoughts go out to everybody in Kentucky. Thanks for watching.